What's up friends, this is Money and welcome to a Ravana running around with more than Titan level defense points. With this thing, remember the Armadillo drone ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, you haven't heard about it much recently, did you? Now we have uh, the Shatter and the Havoc on that Ravana in two different setups. Let's see how we can snack some unsuspecting Orokochis with it, right? The ones that run in and cross the distance only using their ability and once they arrive, their ability is actually offline for a few seconds and you can hit them with Havocs that they can't regenerate the health with. Well, yeah. Yeah, and also those who have 150 meters range but try to shoot at 200. All right, let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. And also, whenever they use their ability, the Ravana can go into Transcendence uh, and uh, and wait it out and then hit them hard after. Kind of, the Ravana actually solves a lot of problems. I also killed a Newton Titan with the Tonans weapons easily. Every time he fired, I went into Transcendence and afterwards I hit him with the, uh, with the Havocs. <laughs> and like, I did this five times and then, uh, yeah, things were easy. Um, very interesting, but let's go and run the same thing here with, um, or the Ravana at first with the Shadow Weapons, okay? The brand new shotguns that deal a tremendous amount of damage at hit and also have a lot more effective range than compared to the Havoc. The Havoc hit really hard at very short range and don't allow you to regenerate the health. That is very good, uh, but you have to be within 200 meters range and that is sometimes a little difficult. Um, and uh, that weapon, or those weapons here, they I would say they have an effective range of at least 300 meters. Um, they even hit pretty well after 300 meters, but when it's a smaller target, such as a Lynx with the force field and stuff, you're not really breaking through that anymore. Um, but yeah, also here physical shooted opponents such as the shell are a bit of a problem. Uh, by the way, for the entire video I forgot I only have advanced repair unit running. I, fr I didn't see that I hadn't equipped the unstable conduit to it yet. <laughs> so, sorry about that, uh, but yeah, the whole video will run just the unstable, uh, the normal advanced repair unit, because I just didn't see that. Um, but it was my account that I hadn't run in a while, uh, these Ravanas, so... Yeah, but, you know, that just means that whatever you see in this video, there's much more room for more, you know? <laughs> uh, Alright, so also, um, ladies and gents, if you haven't yet seen the last video, and I'm sure you haven't because the views, views weren't very good on it, and uh, the, the topic was really good, and I'm sure you would like to know about it, where I show you the top three most, most fun and most... Uh, impactful assassins, the ones that walk in, get the job done, and get back out, right, and kill a robot. Um, of course, such as scorpions and, and, and you know, lynx and other things, and they're played at maximum skill level. If you haven't yet seen this video, ladies and gents, please check it out in the top right, also in the description for you. Um, it is something that I'm sure you guys will be interested for in, and I, I think not everybody of you guys got the notification for it. Um, but yeah, so look at the damage we're doing to this angler, even from this distance. That is a lot of damage coming from so-called shotguns. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if they even deserve the, the, the name shotguns, because what they do is basically they shoot one single shot that is focused, and at the end of that shot it spreads into particles. But does that make it a shotgun or more like a cluster? cluster bomb or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, so you see here damage coming in immensely. Um, and we have already gotten a ton of kills. If you remember, I started this match by capturing this beacon and killing two enemies. Now, then we've killed two enemies to the right, we've recaptured the beacon again, uh, we've killed a bunch more, and in the end, this is how we build up this resistance uh, from the defense, uh, the defense points from the Armadillo drone. Every beacon cap gives us 12 resistance points. Every kill will give us um, 15 defense points. And at the end of this match, we're going to have accumulated 20 kill, no, 15 kills and uh, 5 beacon caps. So altogether, that is 285 defense points. So increasingly, uh, the, this Ravana becomes impossible to kill. Literally, the only thing you could bring to kill this thing now would be, uh, for example, Titan weapons fully fully maxed that bypass resistance. Or perhaps Corrosion, or, but Corrosion doesn't work against a Ravana because as soon as you accumulate Corrosion, he's just going to use Transcendence and there goes all your stacks. So the Ravana is actually really, really good robot to counter the today's meta. And that is very interesting and it has always been a favorite of mine. Um, not in the time when it was the max meta bot and bomber. Uh, then I didn't like it, but I did. I always never, I never like the top end meta machines that break the game the most. That's never what I like. But later when other things come in that are more powerful, more problematic or whatever, this is when I also start to appreciate some older setups that used to be breaking the game maybe, but are not really known to be 
dominant that much anymore. And uh, the people always underestimate the Ravana. Let me tell you guys, the Ravana is the absolute killer. You can one-on-one -on -one Orochochis with it uh, and come out victorious if you have the right weapon set up and the battle goes a little bit your way. Like the guy is really just using his ability to get to you, right? Uh, because what they that's what they often do. Um, and then you have it ready. So when they come in and play perfectly at the same level of skill as you have the Ravana, you are probably end up losing, but you can still hurt them a lot. Uh, and that thing is is really powerful. Yeah, it's. I'm glad. That, I'm glad this thing is, is still is still rocking like this. Um, and like I said, the Lynx and the Scorpion are similar insane. And this is what I've shown you in the last video. So if you want to see some older robots dominate the living crap out of the uh, game, then check out those. <laughs> Alright, so we've already, I don't know, even, I, I lost count, I have no idea how many kills we actually uh, gotten by this point. I only know how much we have at the end of this video as I've played it before. And I can tell you, it's a lot. And this is a Rook Titan down there and I feel like I'm doing a ridiculous amount of damage to him at this point. Remember we have one nuclear amp on it and this thing is completely stacked with 95 stacks. So we're maxed out on the damage with running 180% or so on it. And, and these things are crazy in terms of damage anyways. So we've gotten the Titan kill. Uh, there comes a Ravana too. Uh, but he's got different weapons. Uh, what weapons? Ah, he's running the Explo shotguns. See, those things are shotguns. That they spread. That's what I would call a shotgun. But look at this. Two more kills here. Pop, pop, one kill, pop, second kill. Sang, triple kill. And then we're even grabbing the beacon on top, right? That's another 12 defense points. And another, and a Skyros ball jumps in on the base. Unfortunately, he's not gonna shoot me anymore. I wish I could jump into the match with this Ravana, how I, how I boosted it up now. This is the Ravana I want to run from the moment I jump into the game. It would be so hilarious, because with 300 defense points almost, just, people just can't deal damage to you anymore with regular weapons. It just becomes impossible. Um, so here you see, five, 15 kills, 5 beacon caps, the match carried like an absolute boss, uh, and yeah, that that's that's the 285 defense points coming just from the drone right here. You could have 30% or 30 more from running your ability or or when you're at low HP and so on, right? And this is now with the Havocs. I got hit pretty hard by the uh, Reaper Crisis there. I did not expect that guy here. Uh, he caught me a little off guard, so he got a bit of damage in. Uh, but this uh, Nether Robot got completely deleted, same as that guy. Um, and if the Havocs are fully charged, they take a long time to charge now. They used to be recharging their ammo faster when they were in their Meta Prime. Now they are still incredibly powerful, but you have to let them recharge a little longer uh, in order to get this done. Um, and always even just even retreat a little bit. They used to be the brawling weapon number one where you just go up in the face of enemies and you just never stop uh, killing things. Similar to what the harpoon weapon basically do right now. Uh, Reaper Crisis, you see, if you know he's there, zero problem. He will never ever deal damage to you. He just You just transcendence when he opens fire. Although of course he could skillfully uh, manage his shots and not let, land them all at once, but even then you could still transcendence again. So the guy is never really going to do damage. Damage. A Reaper Crisis is a joke. It is so funny, the freaking Ravana counters everything that's meta. Um, also, the new uh, Rust, uh, no, the new um, weapon coming to the test server with heavy corrosion. Well, I'll be, I'll be looking forward to those with the Ravana. I don't care at all. <laughs> I just used one of my many ability charges to get rid of all the accumulated stacks of... Uh, uh, of corrosion. When there's battleship effects coming in, um, like the slowing field from battleships, transcendence, whoop, you're free again. Sex, <laughs> this thing is just insane. I don't know. Um, I also knew back in the days when the tra when the Ravana came, I knew that this thing will counter a lot of things coming from the future as well. Because this is just how this how these abilities are set. With a legendary pilot you've got, having three charges, getting one at 50%, having perhaps even phase shift. You could add that with phase shift and a shorter pilot skill to uh, recharge on the phase shift. You could basically, excuse me, run phase shift or transcendence all the time. Um, I'm not doing that here. I'm, I'm running the old advanced repair unit as an active module and I'm assuming that the unstable conduit would be the better choice uh, because it will give you a temporary boost of max HP that basically allows you to tank through certain engagements without even taking your actual hit point pool to the table uh, and losing that but in the process so um, that by the way got nerfed 
That used to be more powerful with 50% more HP. Now this 9.5 update nerfs it to 30%, uh, which is good, but in turn they boost the healing capabilities of the module. Uh, so it will heal you more while you're taking damage from your lost max HP, but you get less max HP boosted. The price of the module will remain the same, 70, and that is, by the way, pretty ridiculous. 70 power cells in a match where you can use it like 100 times in just one match, or let's say 30 times to be more precise. Look how this Ravana just freaking spawn raids them. It's almost like the Orochochi at this point, man. Seriously, I'm just in their spawn, and whatever they throw at me, for the better part of what now, four minutes, I'm just spawn raiding them. And now there's coming Titans, by the way. Now Titans are coming in. Um, and we can even deal damage to those. And you know that they hate to take damage from the Ravana because they, they know that the damage they take here is damage they can't heal back, right? You cannot heal damage back the damage from the Havocs. And although I al always, you see me always retreating for a little bit, getting back behind cover, just regenerating those Havocs a little bit. You need to do that. You, you, you didn't have to do this in the, ba in the past, but you have to do it now. By the way, I feel like the Demeter shield also used to be bigger. Is it just me or is the Demeter shield a little, a little small now? Does he have one more ability charge? No, that was all of them. Look, that Titan had no chance. In a one-on-one -on -one against me, this Titan would have completely lost this battle. Even though the Titan basically uses the same technique of the Ravana also. Uh, but um, yeah, it's insane, man. This thing is just a freaking beast. Uh, and we also have, again, a lot of resistance and stacked up. Um, let's give me some uh, some bonus gameplay uh, after this one. This is the same match still. We're, we're finishing off this match. I run in with my... Um, with my Minos. I'm um, still running that combo. Ravana Minos. I really like it. It's just that against those um, uh, against those Newton Titans, my Minos just gets killed. There's nothing I can do. Literally nothing. All my pilot skills, all my know-how about the game, if, this, if the no Newton sees me, he just lifts me up, shoots the first salvo when I have my Reflector running. He only deals 30% damage while my Reflector runs. Next shot, my Reflector is over. Pop, I get killed in one hit. I'm still in the air, by the way. I'm still hovering. Still can't move. Can't use my run, can't use anything, just killed. Just simple as that, just killed. He presses one button and then he presses the other button two times and uh, my Titan is gone. And no matter what I do, there's zero chance to avoid it. Uh, that's the Newton Titan for you. But all the more uh, fun to see that my Ravana can kill one. Unfortunately, I didn't have that recording. I didn't record it. I know this wonderful moment when I one-on-one -on -one that Newton Titan and I completely beat the crap out of him because uh, he could never deal damage to me. Uh, and unfortunately, I did not record that bit. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to believe me. Uh, but it's true. Uh, and maybe i show you another situation sometime coming soon. Uh, Alright, so we're ending this match now here. Just I've, I've, I decided to add this, um, or le let this rest in here, because it was such a nice spawn raid. And the Minos can do the same thing too, as long as at least there's no um, Newton Titan mm, coming in with Tonans. Which you have pretty much in every match nowadays, so... Um, if, if, they, if they attack something else with their force field 19 kills four beacon caps it's that's 30 23 no that was titan kills too as well okay so uh, we're here with the ravana just as uh, some bonus material where we're hitting some overcoaches because i know you guys like to see that um i i told you i will not feature this robot anymore i'm not gonna use it my own myself i have it fully maxed on my own account uh i just uh, put it away from the hangar and put uh, another ravana in not gonna play that overcoachy uh, but I will use the opportunities given uh, to damage and kill them. That is what I'm gonna do. And I will show you moments like this, for example, when the Newton Titan lifts me up. This is uh, also the example, right? We have three, four ability charges I get lifted up and I'm just using Transcendence, get out of this, falling down, killing the, uh, the, the um, ah, Ophion robot there. Uh, and I took no damage. Here comes another Orokochi with 100% HP. I recharged my Havocs, waited out his ability, and when it's gone, and he has, no, has got no transference or resistance going on, doesn't transfer my damage into dot effects, I'm hitting him hard, and I depleted him by 50%. A fully max Mark III meta Orokochi, 50% HP loss that he can never get back because it's Havoc weapons, right? So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, remember the video about yesterday or the day two days ago, uh, and uh, see you in the next video.